Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a new video or if you're new here, my name is Julia and I'm so glad you clicked on today's video. Today we are at Target and I am going to go on a little bit of a book shopping spree. As you saw from the title, it is Black Friday today so I figured I would do something that most people don't think to do on Black Friday and that is go book shopping. Target I believe is having some sales and specials going on. I think it's buy to get the third free. So I figured I would go looking for some holiday books because I am planning on doing a winter book recommendations video as well as a holiday reading vlog video for you guys So I wanted to get a few more holiday books because I do have a couple that I am planning on reading But I don't have too many other ones and I figured I would go look for the ones that I've had on my list And see if Target has any of them and hopefully get a good deal on them So I wanted to bring you guys along with me to come on this fun little trip and do a quick video with you guys So let's go into Target I look around the table My family's all here In this town full of people Who visit once a year So split down the middle God and I choose But whatever I do We both seem to lose But nobody leaves Nobody stays we'll Be here forever Minus a day I sing in the shower Let it all I'm home. Time to show you guys what I got. Target was insane. It was so difficult to try and record anything because there was, of course, so many people there because of Black Friday. And going off of that, because it was Black Friday and I went a little too late in the day, there was slim pickings, sort of, on books. It was only slim pickings on all the Christmas books. Of course. So as you saw, there was that whole section where it was supposed to be Christmas books and it was empty, completely empty. And then I saw on the side of the aisle that there were two Christmas books. There were some other ones, but it was like not actual Christmas books. So first one I got was In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. And let me take out the sticker real quick, of course. <laughs> Hate the sticker. So this one, it doesn't look like the original cover, first of all, which no big deal, like it's fine. I think this one's cuter than the original cover, but I don't like that it's a tiny book. Like, I'll show you, I'll compare it in a second, but I don't want to show the other ones yet. But it's just so much tinier than a normal size book. And so it's going to be weird when I put it on my shelf, so that's annoying, but it's okay. Other than that, I got it for a really cheap price because on top of the sale, the buy two, get one free, they had the sticker discount and that this one was 15% off and they honored that. I talked to the person because originally it didn't on the computer when I scanned it in. And so I talked to the lady, I was at the, the not personal checkout, what's it called? Like where you can check out your for yourself like you can check yourself out self-checkout my god <laughs> 
I was in the self checkout area and so I talked to the lady and she honored the sticker ones for two out of the three. So I got this one. I was like, it's fine. It's a cheaper copy, so I'll take it. And I've been wanting to read this since last year. So I was really excited to at least get this and so excited that of all the books, this was one of them that was there that I found. And this one, if you haven't heard of it before, from what I know, in a holidays is basically like Groundhog Day style. So it's the same day that the main character is living over and over and over until she learns some type of lesson or changes in some type of way. So in this one, it's like a Christmas weekend she's spending with her family in this cabin in Utah and they apparently go there every year and something I guess goes wrong and so she keeps living it over and over every day so that is the premise of this book and it sounds pretty good and i've heard really good things about it and i love christina lauren they're two authors co-authors they wrote love and other words and i loved that book i haven't really read any of their other books and i've heard so so things about some of their other books but love and other words was definitely a hit and in a holidays was definitely a hit so i'm excited to finally read this because i've had my eye on it since last year next book that i got was snowed in for christmas and this one i didn't have on my list to get but hold on pause for getting the sticker off <gasps> don't rip on me don't you dare <sighs> we got it came off in one piece <laughs> thank god but this one i don't really know too much about the only thing i read was the top of it i haven't heard of it before and like i said it wasn't on my list of christmas books that i wanted to read this holiday season but i wanted to get some christmas books for reading and sharing with you guys and i'm always open to new christmas romance books especially because i'm if you're not new to my channel then you know that i am definitely uh, a hallmark channel girly i love hallmark movies especially for the christmas and holiday season i love hallmark movies so I am always down for a good cheesy romance and knowing exactly where the plot is gonna go and what's gonna happen <laughs> I am very okay with that so with this one the only thing I read was the top of it. it says the weather outside is frightful but inside things are heating up in this sexy holiday romantic comedy so we'll see what this one's about but it's just gonna be probably like any typical cheesy romance and it says it's a romantic comedy so I'm excited for a little bit of probably hopefully banter and just a lighthearted, funny romance so I'm excited for that one too. The third book that I got I've been wanting this for a while and I had to decide what kind of third book I wanted to get since there weren't any other Christmas ones so I was looking through all the books and I was like okay let's do this wisely and try and find one that I've been wanting to get and one that would be more worth getting during the special. So I decided to get Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. And this one is, I think, a literary fiction. I think, like, it goes over the span of two people's lives for a chunk of time. And they're gamers. And someone that read it and reviewed it said that there's a part where they cried and they thought in the beginning that it wasn't going to be as great of a book as everyone was saying and they weren't sure why it was rated so highly because it is rated really really highly. I think it won best book of the year last year 2022 or maybe 2021. It's a literary fiction book I know that and I know that it's uh, about two people and they're gamers and that's all I got for you guys but I heard it was really good and rated really highly so I definitely want to give it a try sometime soon. What? It says spanning 30 years from Cambridge, Massachusetts to Venice Beach, California and lands in between and far beyond. Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow is a dazzling and intricately imagined novel that examines the multifarious, oh I don't know how to say that word, nature of identity, disability, failure, and redemptive possibilities in play and above all our need to connect, to be loved, and to love. Yes it is a love story but it is not one you have read before. Hi. Hi. Where's my garden salsa chips? <laughs> we got those for them. I got two bags. You got two bags? Mm -hmm. Oh, I put it up in their shelf because I looked in their pantry section and I didn't see the, a bag. So I put it up there. So it's up there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. That's Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow is the third book that I got. And that was my sort of but very not successful <laughs> target trip to get some Christmas books. 
on Black Friday. So thank you guys for coming along on this short but fun video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below if you have read any of these books and what your thoughts are on them, but please no spoilers, not just for me, but for anyone that reads the comments. And let me know what books you're going to be reading this holiday season. It's okay if it's not Christmas books, whatever holiday you like to celebrate. Let me know any of the books that you are reading, especially because the more books I can add to my TBR, <laughs> I would say the better. In my opinion, it's for the better, but it also probably isn't for the better, at least for my bank account. But that's why we have libraries. But anyway, comment down below any books that you are looking forward to reading this holiday season and just for the winter season in general. And stay tuned for the winter recommendations book video that I will have coming out soon, as well as, like I said, the holiday book reading vlog coming soon as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and leave those comments below. And I will see you soon with my next video. Bye! Bye!